So, many of you might have seen that Hoyoverse and Sunshin Dui Museum are doing a collab. But why should you care? Well, firstly this. Huh? Oop, <laughs> sorry. Wrong folder. Sorry, what I meant to show was this. Mwah. That's all I really needed to be invested in this collab. Oh, oh my god. So, I felt it was the perfect time for me to triple crown and max out my first ever 5 star, Zhongli. Also, massive announcement. This is a first for the channel, and I am super proud to announce that Hoyoverse has actually directly sponsored this video. It's an absolutely massive privilege for me, and it's all thanks to you bullies. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for helping me get here. So how it went down is Hoyo essentially came to me asking, can you please make a video around this collab? And I of course said, yes, 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 I would love to- <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I could do that. But get this, in Hoyo's request, he specifically mentioned we want Vayne to work on this because he's a hardcore gamer. Uh, uh, I'm dying. I died again. Oh my god. I fight this before. I'm gonna die. And also that he makes educational Genshin Guide content. Rama, Rama, what is it? I can't even pronounce it. Ramaritime flower. I already forgot how to pronounce this word. Ramaritime. Ramaritime. One more time. Ramaritime. Ramaritime flower. Ramaritime. Yeah, I have a feeling they haven't seen many of my videos, but not to worry, for I am also secretly an Archon. Look, the skill issue Archon is still an Archon, alright? Also, Vayne from the future here just saw that Hoyoverse posted a trailer for the collab, so be sure to check that out. And they also announced on Hoyo Labs that everyone's getting a free sick looking Zonli statue. So make sure to grab that as well. Anyways, I'll be raising your IQ about this upcoming Genshin event, but then lowering it back down with my massive skill issue. So in this video, I'm not only going to triple crown and absolutely max out Zhong Li, but also going to teach you all a little bit of knowledge, knowledge about this current Genshin collab, how it ties into the real world artifacts found at the Sunqing Dui, and I'll explain it all with my super cracked educational skills that Hoyoverse thinks I have, and I definitely do have. Huh? Boys, we're here with my Zhong Li, my very first 5 star character, if you don't count Traveler, and um, ah uh, yes, how could I forget? I but where are those who share mm -hmm. the memory? I realized um, Ozymandias of Wine voice line is kind of the same energy as the water in Fontaine tastes different to the water in Liyue and tastes different to the, you know, they, they got the same energy there. Alright, but Zongli was my very first 5 star character. He's been with me for the longest time. I started by using him as a DPS, so that's why some of his talents are already kind of leveled up. Level 8 normal attack, yeah, usually don't do that, maybe just level this one, the shield. But I started off with him as a DPS, so I did everything. I even crowned his burst, but here today we're gonna crown absolutely everything. No more, no XP book, no talent material spared. We're gonna spend it all just to max him out for this collab. Unfortunately, no constellations because he doesn't really need it, but I think the C2 is one that I might look into in the future. Using burst gives you the shield. It's kind of OP, and I think it also works in co-op as well, so it's really good. But anyways, my Zongli right now, 51,000 HP. I gotta go quick before he starts talking. Just a little bit of crit, I think because I wanted for voting to proc in the past. Not a lot of crit damage. Some ER doesn't really matter too much for him. I think the Geo bonus, is that from a passive? I feel like that's from a passive. The main thing he really wants though is that HP and we've got 52,000. 51, 50. Okay, okay, okay. Weapon wise, we've got a couple options. I was using Black Tassel. I have used Favonius with him. For most people, I think Favonius or Black Tassel is plenty. I unfortunately have two spare homers. Yeah, the, the $500 book incident. Let's not talk about it, but it came with two free homers. I, I wish it did. I wish I just got the book instead, but look, we've got them. And rather than stealing this off Hu Tao, I think maybe I should just level it up and have another one. So we're going to level this up a later in the video as well. Artifact wise, I've been using Millilith on him for the longest time because I've been running him as a support. But I think we're going to explore a couple options, maybe as a physical DPS, maybe as a Pyro DPS even, and also as a Geo Burst support as well. We're going to try out all those different options later in this video, but that's pretty much my Zongli right now. Of course, he's also only 8 level 82 out of 90 as well, so a little bit more work there. I actually only leveled him to 80 out of 90 when I first got him, so all this XP is just from using him in the overworld, which is a ton by the way. But let's get him to 90 out of 90. There is still quite a few things I need to farm for him, and whilst on the topic of farming, let's quickly talk about how the Sanxing Dui was discovered. So our story begins in 1927, with a farmer in Guanghong City, located within what is now known as the Sichuan Province, when he happens to come upon and discover a massive stash of relics, all made
made out of jade and all buried and hidden within an irrigation ditch. This marked the very first discovery of the artifacts from the Sun Qing Dui, and since then thousands of artifacts have been discovered. And what's so important about this discovery is that carbon dating suggests these artifacts are between 3 to 5,000 years old. And just look at them. They look absolutely awesome and also really strange. So the reason why the discovery is such a big deal is before the prevailing theory is that Chinese culture and its people spread down via the Yangtze River, which flows through much of the country. And that makes sense, right? But suddenly you now have this ancient and advanced civilization that has a different look and that might be going against that theory. So the question becomes, who are they and how did they become so advanced? Were they aliens? Were they perhaps travelers who fell here? Yeah, from another, another world? world? Okay, so now that we know a bit more about the Sanxing Dui, what it is and why it's important, let's get back to Genshin and check out on how my Zongli farming's going. <gasps> Yo, what is this? For 20 resin? Hello? It must be a sign. It must be a sign. They really want me to max out Zongli. So I still have a tiny little bit more to farm. I just need a bit more talent material. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Zongli is actually going to be my first ever triple crowned character. I think he's one of the few characters I've even crowned. I don't think I've used many of these. Um, Where are they? Where are the crowns? How do I find them? I know I can see them here. Look, I have 29. How do, how do I see this in my bag? Doesn't matter. Look, I have 29 of these. Let's start using them, okay? Every single event in the game keeps giving me these, and I don't use them, and that feels like a waste, right? Let's get a little bit more talent material just to make sure I have enough. Okay, that sucks. Okay, one more run. Unlike the other videos where I, I farm some mobs for the final bit of XP, I don't think I can farm this. Oh, no, okay, no Osmanthus wine. If I had to pick between Osmanthus wine or ah. Ayato slurping his bubble tea or his boba, I think I'll take the Osmanthus wine. But look, it's a hard choice to make. They're both pretty bad. What would you pick? Let me know in the comments. Okay, we got one purple at least. So let's head to a crafting bench because I have a feeling we're going to need it. Some of you asked me as well, why do you never take them to 90? Do you see this? 144 books and I'm going to get like 10 HP off this. But look, he deserves it. Okay, the same. Stop saying that before I change my mind. Boom. Level 90. Each level gave me what? 300 HP. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> Look, we got eight levels out of it. Each one's 300 HP. That's 2.4 or 2.5k HP. Some defense, some attack. But that's not what it's about. It's not about the stats. It's about this pretty 90 out of 90 so that it can tickle your brain and you feel good about it. I don't know how I feel about the thousand defense now, actually. That it looks nice, maybe. But also it's painful to my heart to see such a big defense number. Also, I know that there's some quality of life stuff coming out soon for enhancing materials, artifacts, everything. Thank you so much, Harry, for adding that. We needed that, okay? We really did. And now that it's here, I, I can't wait. But unfortunately, it's it's not here as of this video, which means um, we're going to be manually leveling some stuff. Can I also add that it feels so good to level a weapon that's from uh, a previous region where I don't have to go and kill, you know, 6,000 crabs just to uh, level it up once because I've already killed all of the abyss mages. <laughs> what was I saying about farming enough of these? Give me a sec. Give me, give me a sec. You know. <gasps> Yo, that's actually very, very nice. Thank you so much, Sucrose. Boom. Nice to actually use this enhancement ore as well. Okay, we need four more of these. I'm, uh, I'm gonna call a friend. Mora gone. Materials gone. But Homo leveled up, and I can finally stop looking at that level one Homo in my inventory. That means your weapon is done. Your levels are done. That's a lot of attack. The HP is about the same as where we started, but we now have a Staff of Homa instead of the Black Tassel, so that's pretty pog. Same amount of HP, but way more damage. Next, let's do the talents. We'll leave the artifacts to last. So the shield, this is one I actually do want to crown. Pretty useful. Let's go. That that was so much more. That was so much more. Okay, I can't say I'm broke. Okay, before you get into the comments and start flaming me for saying I'm broke, I know some of you guys are saying I have a thousand more. Stop complaining. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. I apologize. Apologize. But um, a little bit of a fatter shield. We like that. That's an extra 1.2% plus 200. What is that? That's an extra 5,000 on the shield. That's pretty good. Wait, did I do my did I do my math right? 1%? Oh, oh no. Hmm. I'm just going to have to manually count the zeros. That's only 500 more. Okay, you know what? <laughs> like I said, I'm the skill issue archon. It doesn't matter. Look, maths is hard, okay? <laughs> 700 extra on the shield. Probably not the most worth it to level, but it looks pretty. Look at that. Oh, we're going to need some of these. That I can do. So for an extra, oh god, like 3% <laughs> more damage. Maybe not even that. Yay. And one more time. I need another two. Oh god, that Mora. We spent what? 1.9 million on just the talents. Oh, and the weapon. Also my first triple crown character. 
And that means level 90, 55k HP, talents maxed out, weapon done. I did think about refining the three homers, but um, I think that's also pretty cope because you get 5% more HP. So I go from 20 to 30% and I lose two homers. You know what? This is this serves more of a reminder of my failures on the weapon banner than refining them. So we're gonna leave them like this. But that means last up, we've got artifacts. But before we look at Zhongli's artifacts in game, let's take a look at some of the artifacts found at the San Xing Dui. This, I think, is the main famous one from the San Xing Dui, from what I remember. Okay, I might need to fact check this one, but some of these artifacts have been literally in restoration for like years, multiple years, maybe even a decade or two, because when they found it, it was all smashed up into different pieces, and obviously the weather as well impacted it. So all the archaeologists, that's a hard word, archaeologists had to take such an massive amount of time to put these back together. And you can kind of see that in the image, right? Like fragmented at parts, but I couldn't even begin to imagine how you would piece this back together. Like, ah, yes, that is most certainly a nose, but it's like a speck of dust. So huge props to them. And this thing looks insane. It looks crazy. Such a big emphasis on the ears and the, the eyes, I guess. Also, it's gold. It's kind of shiny and nice. Uh, but let's take a look at another one. So there's also this one that I've seen floating around. I have no idea how they rebuilt this. How did you even tell that it's kind of like this tree structure. I I wouldn't know where to begin. It also seems to have these birds scattered around, some on the top, some on the bottom. It's honestly, it looks super cool. And this might be one of my favorite pieces there. Maybe the most impressive one for me. <laughs> this one's like a chicken. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, it looks really cool. <laughs> I like this one a lot. There's also this one. I, I, I can't. This thing is so adorable, but it has to be a pig, right? Like that's the snout. Those are the eyes. I, I don't know what else it could be. Like <laughs> it's so freaking cute. I love this. Also, if any Anyone happens to know what this one is like it has a snout and a and a thing you know what i'm talking about that's the scientific word a thing you can tell it's kind of an animal right it's got four legs a tail a head a snout is and a and a thing so um maybe some help on that one next up there's also this massively tall one look at those hands what do those hands do i wonder if it previously holding something from the way it's posing but maybe not also it's just so massive it always amazes me how people in the past used to make these as well because i don't even know how we make these now but back then it would have been insane three to five thousand years ago and finally i think this is also one of the more famous pieces i i think the reason why it was so famous is because what, what's going on here it's got massive ears protruding eyes and i think this is one of the reasons why people thought it was aliens that brought this down because what's going on all these artifacts are super cool if you want to see more you can either search online or if you're fortunate enough maybe even visit the museum. But enough about real life artifacts, we still need to finish our Zhongli and his artifacts in game. Alright, so we're back with Zhongli and most of the time you play him as a shield bot. That is pretty much his entire meta now, but I don't want to do that. I just triple crowned him, okay? His normal attack, his burst, I want to use these things. I want him to do damage. So we're getting rid of the middle of the set. First off, I probably will just start with the easiest thing I can think of, which is a big burst damage. So how do we make that happen? It is probably a mixture of noblesse for elemental burst damage. I was thinking potentially four-piece emblem, but you really never run ER on him. And he, uh, his burst is super, super low cost already. I think it's only like 40 energy. Remember when we used to get characters with just 40 energy bursts? What a time. I don't think this comes out very often now. They're all like 60 to 80 now. What else can we look at? There is also Petra, which gives 15% geo damage. I could do two-piece Petra, two-piece noblesse, which is, I think, what people did in the past. A lot of choices, except I don't have that many Petra pieces. Do I have any good ones? Ah, yes. All this EM. Lovely. And some of my coat pieces. These are pretty bad. This is also pretty bad. Maybe we reroll some Petra pieces. Let's let's try. Hopefully this gives us at least two good Petra pieces that I can keep. And then we can use Noblesse for the other two. Thank God for the strong box. I love the strong box. Okay, a ton of goblets, but I'm not holding out hope because Geo bonus is pretty low chance. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you like this? I guess I'll I'll keep you, but why? Okay, Hydro, Pyro, eh, that's okay, I guess. And Defense, okay, this, those suck. I'm not feeling any of these. Okay, maybe we got a piece there, and nope. Okay, fingers crossed, this time we get something else that's potentially usable. This is a joke, this has happened twice now. Okay, okay, maybe we use a HP Goblet, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe if it rolls into the crit rate only, I'll keep it. <gasps> Okay, we're keeping that piece. This feels a bit sad. I, I think I have to go one more time. One more time. Okay, let's do this. Please. Nope. 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 Stop. Um. Can we try again? Just one more good piece, please. Boom. 
I saw geo damage bonus. It sucks. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Stop rubbing it in. Okay. These are bad. These are bad. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Is there any other set I could run? Otherwise, I guess we're gonna we're gonna do what we've got to do, right? Petra. Don't make me run these HP ones. Really? I think for the most damage possible, you probably want to attack over HP. This. This is a maybe, and this is a maybe. Okay, let's let's see what this force stat is first. What if it rolls attack? Uh-huh. Energy recharge. Which one has more crit? This has 12.4 crit value. This one has slightly more crit and slightly more ER. I guess we... Oh, but, but you know what? It has one less potential roll. So I should use this one. Please, just roll insanely well. Just go absolutely crazy on the crit. Oh, I skipped it. Did it go flat attack? I... So this is what pain feels like. Okay, okay, you gotta stop. This is, not, this is not funny. This is not a funny joke. What about you? Okay, crit rate. I do need that because we have crit damage on the weapon. So more crit rate, please. Uh, energy recharge is not great. I just got the lowest crit damage roll possible. Oh my god. 19 flat attack. Okay. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Should I just use something else? We could level the circlet. Let's level the circlet. You know what? I'm gonna chuck in some big existing artifacts that I have. And we're just gonna we're just gonna believe. We're just gonna believe that it's gonna roll crit rate twice. Watch this. Okay. It rolled once. Am, am I starting to believe? Okay, I'm gonna go one more time. Crit rate again. Okay, I'm no longer believing. Okay. Don't make me use the HP goblin. Are we gonna go farm artifact? Okay, you know what? Fine. Zongli, just for you, we're gonna go farm Petra. This is not a good use of resin. Do not do this. Hopefully something usable, please. Okay, that's insane, but like, why? Oh, okay, okay, fine. We move on, we move on. Usable Petra piece. Am I asking for too much? Okay, just give me two bolide pieces. Okay, maybe I'm asking for too much. Maybe I'm just unreasonable. Oh my god. Four artifact drops. I don't think I've ever had four. Four. Oh, they all suck. Oh, they suck so bad. <laughs> Please, this is your last chance. Or oh, technically my last chance. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> so, Petra. This piece kind of sucks too, but it's like 30 crit value as opposed to... No, this is 25 with 2 ER. You know what? I don't need ER. I don't need flat attack, which means I now move on to no blast. Hold up. We can make this work. I swear we can make this work. Eh, eh. It's looking a little rough. Maybe... Okay, look. look hear me out. I'm going to take this piece and then maybe I have a Geo... He's left unfinished. Okay, let me remove the pieces that aren't here yet. So I need... What do I need? A goblet or a flower? Geodamage. I have a feeling this is not going very well. <laughs> what? What is this? Wait, what? I, I just had this one lying around too. Hold up. Oh no, it's rolling good. I'm starting to believe. Don't do this to me. Don't let me actually believe. It's just going to be that much more painful when it rolls like... I'm, I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe. Energy, uh, energy recharge. Uh. Oh my God, I'm starting to believe. And crit rate. Oh my... Oh my god, what is this piece? Is there seven crit rolls? Okay, I guess I guess you could use this, man. <laughs> that means I have to use a noblesse flower. All right, we're taking Rosaria's stuff. So what does that mean? Elemental burst damage, geo damage bonus, 2k attack. Uh, HP went down like crazy. We're gonna crit half the time, but 90% damage bonus. Okay, that could work. And then how do we get Homer to proc though? I have to be really low HP. Can I even make it proc? I feel like my Bennett would heal me to full like instantly. I'm scared. So that's just just giving me stronger shield and this one gives me damage based on my hp okay oh how do we make the biggest meteor crash into the ground ever oh oh my god oh oh did he, did he always do that uh, uh. <clears throat> mr zong Lee, sir i we can't swell the geo damage, so we want probably Bennett? The only thing is Bennett's gonna heal me. What's more important, Huma extra bonus or 1000 attack? I feel like it's the 1000 attack. Then the next question is, do we add another pyro unit for resonance or a geo unit for resonance? Oh my god, I know what the answer is. I hate the answer though. It's Goro, but my Goro sucks. No. Okay, and then probably like what, Mona? Bonus burst damage? Isn't that how that works? Oh, I haven't played mona in so long it is i have to put goro and you on the team oh my god okay what do i do about also i don't want to talk about it i have c4 mona I is it time to activate c4 mona does it even do anything for him oh wait i get free crit rate yo okay wait maybe i do need to activate these oh my god we're finally activating mona's constellations oh i hope i get no more monas please god okay well that's more damage for zhongli so we gotta do it this gives me geo damage bonus doesn't it defense increase oh wait i don't need it doesn't increase the geo damage part what about 
about this? It's like defense buffs and stuff. Oh, well, if that's the case, then maybe just give him a noblesse. Surely. I know this is not what he needs, okay? I just need him to have the passive. Please, I'm so sorry. Don't look. Why does Eula have an ER noblesse piece? I don't know. These are all the wrong things. I know. I know they're all the wrong things. Please don't judge me. Give him a Favonius. All right, constellations. I have three. Does anything buff his teammates more? Inazuma all around defense? But that's this one. But it doesn't go up with more levels. It just gives defense. Am I really going to put Goro here just so that he can give me resonance? 15% geo damage bonus and no bless. I think the answer is yes. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. So now that we have the team assembled, how do I do the biggest possible thing ever? Should I drink a potion too? God, I never eat the food in the game. I just hoard it like a goblin. If anyone in the comments types goblin these, you will be banned from the channel. This is not a joke. Uh, <laughs> okay, it is a joke. Let me go make a potion. Wait, why do I use a frog? Wait, why? Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna make like 20 of these. So all the frogs I'm about to consume, uh, sorry, I'm not sorry. Actually, two of you guys made it out. Congratulations. <laughs> Why is potion making so weird? Oh God. And how should I order the buff? Probably Bennett first. Oh, Goro. Is it Goro last? To all party members. Okay. And we have resonance, which means if I have a shield, my damage is increased by 15%. Okay. I need to change this. My wallpaper was the Zongli one. I have it. I know I have it. My first friendship 10 characters probably Zongli. Big ugly rock. There we Oh God. The color, the color choice could have been better, but we shield Bennett, Goro, Mona, and uh, it's been a while since I played Mona. How does she work again? The E just breaks the thing and the burst. Okay, I think we E order and we burst at the end. Okay, and I need to make sure my E doesn't hit the enemy. I mean, technically I could be lower health, but then I'm pretty sure Bennett is just going to heal me to full anyway. Oh, fine, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll try it as well. I will get that plant to come smack me. Actually, you know what? There's another option. I can just set myself on fire. Don't try this at home. Ow. Ooh. My home is very shiny right now. I'm pretty sure I don't need to go that low as long as I'm less than 50, but I want to give myself the the biggest chance to, to not have the heal go off. Okay, and I do want to check how much attack I have before I burst. So many things to do. My brain can't even handle this. So we ban it. E. Maybe a couple orders. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I do it too soon? I. 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 I didn't check how much attack I had. It did 200,000 damage, but I didn't check how much attack I had. No! I got a little too panicked. Okay, wait, we, we can try this again. One more time. I just want to see how much attack I have. All right, this time I'm going to wait for it to spawn. And before I even fight it and shoot that big rock, I just I just need to check my ratios. So how do we want to do this? I walk up. We shield. Hello? We shield. Okay. Got a little bit scared there. We we bend it. We Goro E. Q. We Mona auto attack. Maybe one of these. Maybe get a little bit lower first. Then we Mona. And then I zoom Lee and I check my stats. Okay, 3.8. Okay, no, please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have 58% crit rate, 200 crit damage, almost 30,000 HP, and 3.8 thousand attack. And if I timed it correctly, huh? it didn't crit. It didn't crit. Cut the, cut the tape. Cut the tape. We're out of here. I didn't eat the food. I didn't eat the food. I made those potions for what? Oh my... You know what? I, we'll be back. We'll be back. And before I do anything else, we want sparkly soup, the delicious Adeptus Temptation. And where's the potion? This one. I have 21 of these. Oh god. What does that do to him right now? Don't look at the attack, but he's now 70 crit rate. Please just crit, man. Please crit. 115 geo damage. That's without Goro and all the other buffs. We shield. We come over. Bennett, Goro, a little bit, please. Please, maybe a charged attack in there. One of these. Okay, there's only your stats. Why don't oh. I have less attack? Did I do something wrong? One of the busts is one off. <gasps> okay, just do the thing. Dude. Throw the big rock. Okay. It, it didn't crit. How? I have 70% crit. I'm not coming back. You can just imagine. It's probably like, I don't know. 200. 30 or something. <laughs> God. What is wrong with you? You have 70% crit rate. That might as well be 100. What do you mean that's not how math works? Fine. Okay, let's move on to the next. Uh, I was cooking up another one, another team comp. What I'm thinking is I can either use Bennett, Candice, or Chung Yun to change his elemental, uh, his attacks into elemental attacks. But after thinking about it for a little bit, I feel like maybe Pyro is the best because one is if I get resonance, it's good. Two is Bennett probably has the best buff out of all of them. Now the question is, do I I want to use Yunjin for the better attack speed buff. More damage for Zhongli. Thank you. Thank you, Yunjin. Thank you. Uh, or if I use Xiangling for more team damage. But since this is a Zhongli video, we're going to try to make Zhongli do more damage. So let's go find something to punch. And maybe we start with here because look, my attacks are going to be pyro anyway. This means I can melt it. Theoretically. 
Everyone have a thing? Do I even want this? Maybe I want that. I don't know. What do you need? Auto attack for normal attack damage. Is it gladiator? Is that your best set? I mean, if it's physical, you would use um one of the two physical sets, but maybe gladiator. If the wielder uses whole arm, sword, or claymore, increase their normal attack damage by 35%. It might just... Okay, you know what? We're just going to start stealing pieces. Hmm, I feel like this piece is pretty good. Or maybe this one if it rolls into an attack? Oh. Am I coping again? I feel like I'm coping again. All right, if you roll attack, we're good to go. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, let's just use you. It's it's rolling well to start. I mean, it's a low roll, but it rolled in the right spot. It rolled in the right spot again. I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe so much that I'm gonna trash some old artifacts. Uh, it's not a complete waste. Kind of not what we want if we want DPS only though. Okay, starting to believe. Five crit rolls two HP rolls. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Six crit rolls, two HP. That's pretty good, actually. I'm going to take this because it's attack. You want more attack for this type of build? And here's a question. Do we go pyro damage? I think we take this. It feels a bit weird, but oh my god, I have so many. What is this goblet? Yo, why do I not use these? Okay, that's my four glad pieces done. Maybe I just want... What do I want? What's my ratio looking like? Oh, we can go crit damage here. We're eating good. Crit damage into crit rate. And that's this piece right here. Thank you. We now have two 2.4 thousand attack. Not too bad, but we're going to have all these buffs. And the ratio is looking pretty good. Okay, maybe the crit rate could be higher, but at this point, I think crit damage is probably arguably more important. And we have fire damage bonus. All right, let's just try it. I, I don't know what I've made right now. It's a it's a thing. Do I burn myself more? I, I guess there's no point. Ben is going to instantly heal me up when I stand on him. Oh, we have pyro food. Wait, pyro food. 25% more. Sure. There goes my only pyro potion. And I just realized I don't have enough energy on everyone. And this might be a mistake one two three where's my damage hello where's my where's my red number 33 thousand what okay hold up when <laughs> one second <laughs> is it because of all these buffs is it because i'm using items am i cheating right now i feel like i'm cheating okay we're gonna shield up we'll do a little bennett probably shouldn't have done the e all right so i'm just gonna check your stats for a sec hello there we go i was like what, what's happening okay you have 3.7 thousand attack ratio is looking pretty good 120 pyro damage bonus what the hell? okay we're just gonna start slapping him okay he's doing 24,000. What is happening? Okay, the buff's gone though. Oh no, we're doing back to white numbers. This is why no one does this. When the Bennett buff is gone, you don't even exist. You're not even a real character at that point. But for those like five seconds, damn, you feel good. All right, let's try that one again. All right, Zhongli, you want to 24,000? 34,000? Who knew the best way to play Zhongli is actually pyro? <laughs> what if I fight something cryo? Oh my god. Okay. Sorry. I know I know this is not even realistically ever gonna get played. Like it's it's isn't so far from the meta. As in it would never work. There's so many things going on. I mean, I've got potions running. But just let me dream, okay? Let me dream. Okay. This attack, I remember. Okay. Fast, 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 fast. There's no way. There's no way I can set up in time. There's no way I can set. Okay, do not come back. Okay, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe even. Maybe if I can get one hit in it. No. Oh, kind of? No. All right. This was a mistake. Goodbye. 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 I dreamed. I strayed too close to the sun. My wings melted and I fell to the ground. All right. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> that was another Zongli. I know uh, people also play him physical damage too. It's a little bit dank, but it works. If you put a, a cryo unit like Rosario and then maybe Fischl. I don't know who you would put in the last slot. I was going to say Bennett, but my Bennett's C6 now. You can't really use him anymore. All right, let me see. Was there anything else I wanted to test? And you know what? I just realized I have not done my dailies. So really, really quick, Mr. Zongli, I'm going to unfortunately have to take that uh, amazing goblet off you. But that's fine. You, you, you'll still have something good, I promise. You know what? That, that is a pretty solid artifact. And then here, let's give you physical. This is not usually how people play his uh, physical comps, by the way, but it'll be okay. Okay. All right, I'm here to just smash up your... Oh, God, that feels wrong. Smash up your stuff. I'm going to come over here and just... Okay, and I'm just going to leave. Goodbye. <laughs> I remember how to do this, I think. It's actually the commission over there. Do not touch the seals. I would never harm a seal. Mr. Editor, do not cut to the footage. I told you not to talk about it. Look at the funny oranges. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, uh oh. Wait, these guys have shields. Hey, me too. Wait, which one do I hit? Maybe I should have used actual characters that buff him in the physical thing, but oh man, his sounds. Can I? Oh, sorry. I just need to talk about his animations for a sec. Look how sick these are. And, and also this one. That is so sick. It's a shame they never got to use that. Like, one of the reasons I played physicals only for a bit was just because the animations are so sick. Oh, wait, you have a geo shield? You dummy. That's the thing I do. Wait, where did you go? You, you're okay? Uh, oh, 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 bye bye. <laughs> Okay, 
the uh, the burst is a bit sad without all the geo buffs and uh, the right set, but you know, it's not even that bad. Even when they're shielded up, I kind of just, they're gone. Bye bye. As long as it's not the Abyss version. If these monsters were in the Abyss, I, I think we'd have problems. Hi, Catherine. So that was Zong Li maxed out and triple crowned. A bunch of Moro, but I'd say it's worth it, even if all I did was play around with some weird builds. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to Hovus for supporting the channel. Also, you're probably wondering what this new model is about. I have a brand new VTuber model with a debut stream scheduled for mid-January, so make sure to follow me on Twitch so you don't miss that. And I'll be announcing the debut date on Twitter, YouTube community tab, and my community Discord, so make sure you are following one of those as well. Thank you again, bullies, for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.